Right, so hello everyone. Um, it's payday today, so I'm just back with a very quick haul video of some bits I bought. Um, as usual, it's spend half my wages on payday, spend the rest of the month skin. But um, yeah, it, no particular rhyme or reason how I'm going to pull these things out. It's mainly beauty. There's a couple of bits of, there's um, a, one bit of clothing and there's a bit of hair care. Um, but that's that. So here's my bag and I'm literally just going to grab in and reach things out um, and talk about them. <laughs> First thing I got was this Extraordinary Oil by... Um, L'Oreal, El Vive. Uh, I got a sample of the normal one of these. This one's for coloured hair. I got a sample of the one that isn't for coloured hair, the normal one, um, in Cosmo this month. Been using it for the last four days. Really, really like it. Uh, this is on offer at the minute with £1.50 off, so I think it was £8.50 as opposed to £9.99. Um, yeah, so this, this is for coloured hair. Um, precious blend of eight flower extracts, UV filter. Um, as you can see, my hair is quite processed, well, very processed, um, and it is quite damaged, so I'm um, hoping to give that a go and hoping that will make my ends a little bit stronger and a little bit um, more nourished. So, yeah, that's the first thing I got. Then I got a couple of bits in boots. I got just a natural collection clear lip gloss. Uh, I came to look for some lip gloss, clear lip gloss, go over, over a particularly dry lipstick. Um, yesterday, I think it was, and realized I, of all the lipsticks and all the things I own, I didn't have a clear lip gloss. So I think this is one pound ninety nine. I'm hoping it's not going to be too sticky um, and too uncomfortable on my lips because I can get really. If something's uncomfortable on my lips, I just can't wear it. So um, I'm hoping that's going to be going to be all right for two pound. Um, so yeah, I got that. Next thing I got was a lipstick. In fact, to be fair, most of what I got now is um, is lip products. I've got really into lip products in the last few weeks. Um, so the f next thing I got was this by Seventeen, um, and it's in the colour Rosary. If this focuses, focus, please focus. It's not going to focus. There you go. Uh, in the colour Rosary, and it's a really pretty sort of. <laughs> I swatched up my hands in the shop. And it's pretty. It's a really pretty sort of sheer. Um, lilac colour. If I can undo it, I'll show you. I'll do you a swatch. So that's what it looks like. It's apparently it's a new shade. Oh, I didn't realise this. Not very good for showing the camera. But it's got a little mirror, so you can, if you're on the go, you can see what you're doing, which is quite cute. Um, and that's the colour. So you can see it's just a really sheer, pretty lilac colour. It's very similar to um, Palest Lavender by Barry M. You can hardly see that. It's so sheer. Um, but this one has got a little... Uh, the Barry M one was quite matte and had quite a lot of colour. And Because I've got really dry lips, it was the sort of thing that was going to just go on my lips and look, make them look more dry than they are. Um, so I got that because I think it was slightly more expensive. I think this was £4.79. Uh, so it's slightly more expensive than the Barry M one, but actually I, prefer, I much prefer this shade. I believe this is one of their... Uh, it's so one of their Mirror Shine lipsticks. So yeah, I got that. Next thing I got was just um, a DVD from HMV. And it's just the first of the Alien films. Uh, I saw Prometheus last summer. Um, and apparently this is the film... Prometheus is the film before this. So um, I, uh, Prometheus I didn't like. I thought I'd get Alien and just see if it's any good. And for, for three, well, it's three pounds on there, but um, in actual fact, when they took off their 25%, um, because obviously in, in administration, um, it came to two pounds 25. So, yep, that's that. Next things I got came from Claire's. Uh, these, these were two pounds 50, and they're just two cute little bow slides. Um, I'm into quite into kitsch sort of. I guess almost tacky type type um, hair accessories and the like. So I got these things because they were quite cute. Um, if I can take this off, if I can take it off the card, I'll show you what they're like. Um, and that's what they look like. Uh, and they're just with one of these sort of clips where you nip them and they undo at the back. So I thought sort of putting that in kind of there or maybe in that side or something. Rather, rather cute, and two of those for £2.50 isn't bad at all. Uh, the next thing I got in Claire's were two of these little donut donut things. Um, I've got one, grab it, it's on the floor down here. I've got one uh, which is slightly bigger, which came from Primark, I believe, for £1.50, um, which I use when I want to put a single bun in. But I thought these little ones would be quite nice to like either do a section of my hair, like in a half bun. Or do either side and do like um, I guess Bjork style Bjork style buns and they were three pound fifty 
so that's not bad i mean that that was a lot cheaper that came from primark a little while ago and that was a lot cheaper but actually it's not too bad and i'm hoping i can have some fun with my hair and have some fun with those so yep yeah, i've got those uh the next things i got is some more lip products something just made a very strange noise in this flat <laughs> don't know what that was actually it's outside i can hear it again um the next things i got remember are actually on three for two in boots at the moment so i went a bit mad with the lip products i got um two of the apocalypse uh lip glosses lip blackers uh the first one i got was in the shade galaxy which is a really pretty deep pinky mauve color uh it's in the shade galaxy is it gonna focus um, and that is shade 301. And the next one I got was in the shade uh, 102. And that's Nova. And that's... I'm not going to focus. And that's a really pretty, more of a pinky pink colour. So if I show you them together, they're very similar. Um, if I show you them together. So the top one is Nova and the bottom one is Galaxy. So one's more that one's more of a purpley colour, whereas that one is a true, a true pink. And actually no, um Galaxy is what I've got on my lips at the moment. So it's quite a nice, quite a nice colour. I will just do a couple of swatches of these so you can see what they're like. And these were um five ninety nine each. They're actually quite a good deal. So that one is Galaxy. Coming up red, but it's actually it's, it's more of a deep deep purpley pink colour uh, and this one is um, is Nova so that one's that, that pinky corally shade is Nova really pretty and then um, three for two so the one I got the free well it's the free one I got was one of these Kate matte lipsticks and this is in the shade 101 uh, I believe it has got a name. I don't think that, but the name's not on here. Uh, this is the lasting finish by Kate lipstick, and I, <clears throat> I believe this is one of the. Well, I know this is one of the matte ones, and that's the shade. So again, it's a really pretty corally colour, um, but it's quite actually once it's on, it's just going to be a little bit of subtle colour. So it's that bottom one. So it's a pretty pretty sort of corally pink colour. Not that I particularly like Kate Moss, but I, I really love the package and they look really sleek, really pretty. Um, so yeah, that's that. Oh, one other lip product I got was um, a Barry M lipstick, and this is in the shade 101. And I've tried this since I've been home, and to be perfect, I don't like it. I don't like how it the tech. That's the colour, sort of a really nude colour. But when I when I swatched it in the shop, it went on like it was a, a sort of a um, I want to say a wet finish, um, a shiny finish rather than a matte finish. But actually, actually, it's it's just matte and it's just horrible on my lips. It just doesn't suit my lips at all. It's that top colour there, if you can see that. Um, and it goes on and it because my poor lips are ever so dry and I I can't see it. Not as many products as I put on them, they are always always dry. This just emphasises the fact that I've got dry lips. Maybe with a maybe with a lip gloss over. Uh, it might be nice, but to be honest, I've £4.50 and I wish I hadn't spent it, but never mind. Uh, the next thing I got was my one clothing item, and it was from a shop called Beals, which is, a, I think it's local to where I am. Um, and it's by Isabel, Isabel London. This was a bargain, this was £10, and I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's just a, um, it's just a retro, sort of, I guess, 60s style dress with a rack of... Um, geometric type print in orange and brown and sort of beige and then it's got a really big floppy floppy sort of neckline and cute little cap sleeves uh, and then it's got the pin tucks I don't know if you can see that pin tuck sort of in the fabric in the front um, and it just goes on and it hangs sort of loosely it, it hangs loosely but at the same time I tried it on the shop and it, it hangs loosely but at the same time it's actually really quite flattering because it's not one of these big things that looks like you're wearing a tent. I mean, I'm not the smallest person in the world. Um, but it, it, sometimes they go on, they make you look like you're 18 months pregnant. 
18 months pregnant, nine months pregnant, sorry, um, with about four babies. But this one actually, although it's loose, it goes on. I suppose if you were thinner or if you wanted to, you could belt it, but I quite like the look of it um, not belted. So, and this was a bargain, this was £10. This is calling it a top, but it is plenty long enough to use as a dress more than long enough and this is a size 10 so it's quite a I, mean, I normally wear 12 maybe a 14 depending on where i'm shopping and what i'm shopping for um so this is actually quite a generous cut i tried a 12 one and the sleeves didn't hang right and it didn't sit properly so um yeah that's it's such a pretty such a pretty pattern um it's just a bit unique a bit different than the 60s sort of print i'm quite into all that kind of thing i like things that look a little bit unique and a little bit different so really pleased with that uh, next things I got came from Superdrug, and they are these, <laughs> many, many lip products, and someone who doesn't normally buy lip products, I've bought many, many lip products, um, I bought this by Beauty UK, um, it's just a lip, a lip lust, and it is just gorgeous, it's all sparkly and pink and just absolutely beautiful, I've just had, I, I, I don't normally, so I don't normally buy lipsticks, but all these, all these colours and all these prettinesses, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and get my lips into a decent condition so they're not dry and I'm just going to start wearing lipstick, because they just, some of the lipsticks about at the minute are just lovely. Um, I'll do you a swap, and this one, I don't know if it's got a name, has it got a name? Uh, it's just called Number 11. Uh, and, in fact, to be fair, this one might go on with the Barry M one and go over the top and make that so I can wear it. Uh, and that's the colour. That's the colour of that one, and it's so sparkly and so pretty. If I smudge that out a bit, hopefully you can see how pretty that is. It's really quite sheer, but it's so sparkly and just so pretty. And that, that will be a good one for going over the top of other... You can probably see on my finger better, actually, how sparkly it is. Yeah, and that's probably going to be a good one for going over the top of other things, other colours. So, yeah, that was £2.99. Uh, the next thing I got was by MUA, and it's this palette. And this is a stuff. Uh, I know a lot of people talk about the undress palette being a dupe for the naked palette and all this, but I've got a lot of browns, and I just fancied. I, I looked at the. I looked at the. I think I'm sure it's undressed. I can't remember. It's was it Heaven and Earth? It's either undressed or Heaven and Earth. Um, and I looked at that and I thought, well, maybe I'll get that. And then I th saw this one and I thought, actually, the pinks and the purples and the lilacs and the black um, and the greys, they're just a lot more. A lot more my sort of colours. I don't know if you can how well you can see because I think we get an awful lot of reflection. But that's sort of that one's a sort of pink, black, grey, blue. Um, there's some more greys. Mm, there's some greys and blues. Pink, light pink. Um, that's a purpley colour, and that's a, another purpley colour. Uh, and for four pound, I, I think the MUA. Uh, I don't think you can complain. I think if you use a decent primer, I think you need to use a primer. There's no, there's no good buying these palettes and then just whopping them on your eyes because they are, they are going to crease. But then to be fair, I think Estee Lauder or Mac or whoever, I think even they crease without a primer. So I think actually, if you're going to use a primer, I think these, this, this, these palettes are as good as anything. So yeah, four pound for that. Really chuffed with that. Next thing I got was from Sleek. I love the packaging of the Sleek products, and it's a blush. Let me open it up. Uh, it's called, what's it called? It's called Sunrise and it's in 9.24. And let me show you the colour. It's just a really gorgeous, dark, rosy colour. It's got a little bit of an orange tinge to it. Unfortunately, the lighting in my room is terrible, but it's got, it has got a bit of a, it's got a bit of an orangey tinge, so... That's what it looks like. If I put a bit more on so you can see. That's what it looks like. And I just thought that was a really gorgeous, pretty colour. Um, that was £4.49. I say I love the sleek packaging. So that's what that looks like. You can see it's a bit orangey in that sort of in there now. Um, and that's the shade. 924 Sunrise. Uh, I think we're getting towards the end of my haul. No, we're not getting towards the end of my haul. We are at the end of my haul. Um, so that's everything I got. Uh, so there's plenty of got plenty of lip products. If I show you all my lip products that I bought, um, I'll need extra pairs of lips to be able to wear them all. And that's all the lip products I bought, and then obviously my eyeshadow palette. Uh, and a few other little bits. So yeah, if you enjoy this video, again, I'm still new to YouTube, don't film that many videos, 
don't know whether anyone likes my videos um, but if you've got any constructive criticism leave it in the down bar if you've got anything to say leave it in the down bar um, remember to thumbs up if you enjoyed this if you didn't then don't do anything please don't thumbs down I'll be upset um, but yeah and subscribe if you want to and I will catch you in my next video probably next payday <laughs> take care bye